what's going on everybody right here welcome to my channel so today we got in horror block um i forget what the theme of this one was i don't know if they had a theme or not but whatever so let's get into it so first off let's start with the shirt as always these these shirts are exclusive because they print up in their own company so but it's basically the orca the ship that went out for jaws deep sea charter it's kind of cool like the it's just got a little shark on the bottom from the side and everything so that's kind of neat i like it uh then we've got nightmare on elm street i think this is an exclusive i'll look at the card at the end here but it's a freddy krueger pillowcase Because you know Freddy comes to you in a dream, so it's a good thing. And it zips open. Feels really silky. And I'm looking for the tag to see what it's made out of. It's rayon or what? Yep, there it is. So let's see. Hundred percent polyester. So no. Yeah really really thin so it's more decoration than it is for much of a cover but it's kind of cool and I believe it's exclusive I'll look at the sheet at the end all right then we got a couple pops first off from the strain Vaughn one of the vampires I believe I haven't watched the movie if there's a TV show so I'm not sure but I believe it is looking at him must be a foot soldier or something yeah, he's got a machine gun in his hand. Full body suit. And then I thought, I could be wrong, but I thought on the last card when we got it, they said it was supposed to be an exclusive uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer item. And it's not exclusive, it's just a common pop. This one is Angel. You can get Angel or I think uh, Willow was the other one. I would like little, but I thought they were going to do exclusive, but I could be wrong. Maybe I read that wrong. Because he's just a common pop. I mean, he doesn't even have his fangs or anything. So, not a big deal. Put your fat head back in there. Alright, then we've got another Blu-ray, unfortunately. But, it's Turbo Kid which I've seen is a pretty good movie. If you haven't seen it, just check it out. Oops. It's pretty cool. And this one's got the regular wrapping, so it's it's basically the one you can find in any store. It doesn't have that cheap ass, like the Deathgasm one had hardly anything on it. This one's got all, so it's basically like one you get at the store. So I think it puts a little more money to it. And it's got special features in it and stuff, so a little more money it just kind of sucks that's blu-ray because i don't have blu-ray you know but they can buy them cheaper because they don't sell as much and then the last thing we've got is your room morgue of course this one's on session nine some shocker film built a, a visit to europe's oldest form of asylums too Interesting. Ooh. Del Toro? Yeah, interesting. Alright. So, and of course you got, you know, advertisements in there, which they're going to do. Alright, so, yeah, so the Funko Pop you either got, um, like I said, Angel or Willow. And then you got Vaughn, or I don't know who the other guy is. Looks like a vampire hunter. Is he on the back here? Dr. Goodweather, maybe? Looks like. And otherwise, everything else everybody got. 
and the pillowcase and the shirt were exclusive. So, right, yeah, okay. So let's price it out. So let's start with the pops. So I usually start with shirt, but we'll do pops, just because they're they're common. So there's nothing special about them, so they're about nine bucks a piece. You can get them cheaper, but that's what the original price will be. Uh, you got the shirt. Good, bad, ugly. As always, twelve bucks. So I usually just throw that on there. And you always get the shirt punch coupon because that's their company. That's a decent shirt. I like it. The pillowcase. These are usually running about eight, nine dollars. These specialty ones, even though it's kind of really light. Is that, yeah, there we go. That's kind of neat if you're a big Freddy Krueger fan. This uh, this Blu-ray, because it's basically one you can get in the stores, and it's got all the extras and stuff. This is probably about twenty. Yeah, I think it's selling about twenty-five bucks, thirty bucks right now on there. So. It's a real one. It's real value. It's not a redo with a fake intro and just the movie itself like that. Deathgasm was. So it's full price on that. I'm just disappointed as Blu-ray. But what are you going to do? It's a good movie though. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And that, and then Room Org. Yep, sorry. Room Org is usually nine, ten dollars Usually says right on it. So, so your total about... With, because of that movie, you're up around sixty, seventy dollars. Because of the value on that movie, so that's a lot higher than they usually are. Usually they're around fifty, sixty dollars right in there. So they made up for it that way, and it's usually cost you around thirty or so dollars, depending on shirt size and shipping. So you're getting a good value. And not a bad, it's not a bad run. I mean, it's it's common pops. Don't really care. The movie's good. I just wish it was in DVD so I could watch it. Um, Pillowcase is pretty neat if you're a Freddy Krueger fan. Rube Morgue is always good to read, and t shirt's pretty good. I like it. It's not a bad box. Value's there. Always, you're always getting value with the nerd block. So next month, it's got two exclusives, but it's got Friday the 13th, Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror, and Psycho. So it says exclusives from Treehouse of Horror and Psycho. So I'm assuming one of them is a shirt. Because their shirts are always going to be exclusive because they make them themselves, so they're exclusive. So I'm guessing that Friday 13th isn't going to be exclusive. It'll probably be a Psycho or a Simpsons one. So but that's the way it goes. So not a terrible box. There's a couple good things in there. Just kind of disappointed it's always Blu-ray. Wish it was DVD so I could watch it. Um, other than that, good value. Kind of neat stuff. So tell what you like, didn't like. You know, leave me your comments. Um, like and unlike the video, subscribe to it coming out next. Always got stuff coming up. It's the uh, beginning of the month, but I think we got a couple of them still coming out. Should be a few, and I think that Ghostbusters one is coming. Yeah, so we'll see what we get on that. So until next time, thanks.